Hello, today I'll explain a bit about adding fictional portals. These portals make you travel from point A to B. These only work locally in your world, so not between worlds. There are some ways to connect them throughout the entire world, but I didn't manage it yet, but I think I'm close. So let's start. So to start, go to your asset browser and navigate to gameplay, interactive objects, teleports. In here is an entity template called teleport gate static. I usually copy it and go to my own world. And your world should be located under levels and then the name you have put there. And then just paste it. Also just rename it to like my my portal template. Now you have to create a new layer in your world. To do that, go back to your world and press right click on your level name and select add layer. In here you have to give it a name, I'll just call it portals. And then instead of having it on the default, you need to select gameplay under build tag and this is fine. And I'll press create and it should have added a new layer. The gameplay tag is mainly used for like interactable objects, so like portals or chests or anything you can like use in the world. Double click the layer so it's active and bold and then go back to your asset browser and then just drag and drop your template into the world. Select your portal in the world and then we need so to add some tags and names so that you can use it later. So inside the properties tab you have to change the C node tag and I'll just use portal underscore one. The same I'll do for C entity, so portal 1. Then go a little bit down to the CR4 map pin entity, I'll also just call it portal 1. And then set ignore when exp exporting map pins to true. I also wanted to add if you enter names, make sure you click somewhere else so it's saved because sometimes it doesn't save the name. So go further down to the C teleport entity and set the linking mode on false. This makes it so you don't need a, another entity uh, paired teleport but you can just use a tag. So and I'll just do a little test at how it's functioning right now. So it kind of works, but it's not correct yet. The teleport doesn't have a waypoint, so it doesn't know where to put the player after it activates the teleporter. So we need to create a waypoint. To do that, make sure this layer again is active, so it's bold. And then press right click in your world. Go to navigation and add waypoint. So if you don't see this green bar, that means you don't have the debug option uh, set to true. So then you have to go to your settings and select under editor options debug and there should be a name called waypoints and you have to have it active because it's off, you don't see the waypoint. So, now give the waypoint a tag. For example, portal one waypoint. And just click anywhere so it sets to, uh, to the name. And I usually do this for the C node, this C node as well. And also add it to the C entity. Make sure that you have copied this name and go back to your portal and add it under C teleport entity under the paired node tag sorry I'll just control V it and now hopefully the portal should work so let's test
there we go so just to clarify you need to use this name don't use the tag or copy the tag because if you use the tag it will add a semi colon and it won't find your portal well I mean uh, your waypoint sorry So use the name you put under C entity. So that's basically it for creating a simple portal. It only works locally, meaning it only works in your map or your world. It doesn't connect to, for example, Caligar or anything. You need to create it via quest maybe. And for a returning portal, just repeat these steps and make the waypoint point to the other portal. So like make portal A and make a portal B and set the waypoints at each portal. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.